episode of Supreme Decisions. And today, I want to clear up something. Because it's actually kind of a go-back episode. Because often you hear me talk about the precedence of certain cases. You often hear me speak about how I don't talk about all of the cases that go along with a certain incident or such as the Fourth Amendment. Because today I'm going to give you one. And it's easy simply because this one is a starter case. And it is Kerr v. California, 374 U.S. 23, 1963. This was a case that kind of set up the pretext to Terry v. Ohio. Now, what this does, it actually is the introductory case. And the reason why we call it the introductory case is because it deals with one specific situation. In that situation, it gives you the confines of it. Terryville, Ohio is set the precedent simply because it gives you police procedures. But I've gone through those a couple of times. I'm not going to do that in this episode, but I am going to talk about Curvy, California. Curvy, California was decided and it was the Fourth Amendment's prohibition on unreasonable search and seizure and the exclusionary rule for evidence obtained from unreasonable search and seizure apply to the states through the 14th Amendment. The reason why this is important because prior to this case, there was this thing called Map v. Ohio, which then stated evidence seized in the course of the illegal search was inadmissible in a criminal trial in state court. These are the things that I speak about that I want to make sure you have a context on. These are the things that actually are the most meaningful when we're doing it because this is the foundation of why you're doing it and why you're fighting so keep that in mind, because again, it's something I'm going to get deeper on. Not so much right now, but the introductory case, Curvy, California, 374, U.S. 23, 1963. And don't forget to join the channel, show your support through the donation links, and get your t-shirts. Supreme, out. <laughs>